how great is our God. Amen. Name above all names. God is just a great God. Amen. That that that's one we haven't heard in a little bit. Amen. But we thank the Lord for being reminded that our God is a great God and uh, he is worthy to be praised. We do honor the Lord today. We thank God for Jesus and his shed blood on the cross, his blood that washes and cleanses us from all of our sins. We are so glad that Jesus went to an old rugged cross. He hung, bled, and died that we might have the right to the tree of life. Didn't have to do it, but he did. Died, the Bible says. They put him in a ball tomb, but early Sunday morning he got up with all power in his hands. And because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know who holds my future. Life is worth the living just because he lives. Got up from the grave, went back to his father, and one day he's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. We'll be caught up to meet him in the air, and so shall we forever be with the Lord. Isn't that good news? We thank God for good news. Amen. That That's good news. We do honor and thank God for all of these preachers, all of these ministers who are assembled into their uh, uh, spouses. Uh, we greet you in, in the name of Jesus and to our presiding elder Moore and to Sister Moore. God bless you. Uh, thank God for you and to Mother Williams in her absence and uh, to Mother Bird. God bless you uh, today. And we do thank God for the First Lady of Greater Bethel, Reverend Gloria Redden. Uh, they did one of the uh, most wonderful things yesterday. They gave Sister Walker a surprise birthday party yesterday. And uh, it's just, it was just good uh, to see uh, us acting like Christians. Amen. Just, just just a wonderful thing to to do and to see amen if you have your bibles if you'll turn with me to the gospel of saint matthew the 11th chapter and we want to just read a few verses verses one through six the gospel of saint matthew the 11th chapter uh, beginning at verse one I'm going to try not to be very long this morning. I would ask for your, your continued prayers. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we, we thank you for this preaching moment, uh, this teaching moment. God, we pray that you would so bless your people. Speak to our hearts today and we thank you uh, for signs and wonders that shall follow your word. We thank you for a rhema word. A life-changing word. It is in Jesus' name we pray and we ask it all. Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let the people of God say amen, amen, and amen. St. Matthew 11, beginning at verse 1. And it came to pass... When Jesus had made an end of commanding the twelve disciples, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Now when John had heard in prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and shew John. Again, those things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, and the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. Um, I want to uh, preach for a little while 
uh, today from the topic, uh, Don't Settle Because the Right One Makes All the Difference in the World. Don't Settle Because the Right One Makes All the Difference in the World. Look at your neighbor, tell them, Don't Settle Because the Right One makes all the difference in the world come on find somebody else and tell them don't settle because the right one makes all the difference in the world come on find one more person maybe that person sitting next to you won't talk to you find somebody else and tell them don't settle because the right one makes all the difference in the world I've lived uh, long enough now to know and to discover that life is short. And how many know that not only is life short, but time flies. And because life is short and because time flies, you want to live life to the fullest. And what can help us live life to the fullest is to learn some lessons. One of the lessons we can learn is that we ought not to live a life wasting time being bitter and mad at the world. Understand that the life we live, the world we live in doesn't owe you anything and uh, you are not entitled to anything. A long time ago when my son graduated from school, I heard the principal make this statement. You won't work, you won't get all you work for, but you will work for all you get. You can't waste time. You've got to live a life to the fullest. It ain't no time of being bitter and mad at the world. The second thing that I've learned about life is that we ought not waste time, period. Because want always follows waste. The only thing that you will not get more of is time. And if you waste it, the time will come when you will want it again. How many know that if you waste money, there's going to come a time when you're going to want that money that you wasted? Anybody ever just wasted money? You don't know where the money went to. And not only did you waste it, you know where it went to. It went to somebody who didn't mean you any good in the first place. And you spent all of your money thinking that you could buy their love. And you found out now that it was just a waste of money. Uh, but if you waste money, you're going to want it one day. If you waste education, you're going to want it one day. Uh, young folk, don't, don't fool around in school. Don't, don't just fool around in school. But you ought to make the best of the time that you're in school. And whenever you get an opportunity, when the door opens, when opportunity knocks, how many know that you ought not waste an opportunity? Because opportunities of a lifetime only come once or twice in a lifetime. And you don't want to waste that opportunity. Don't get caught up in a bunch of foolishness uh, that you waste opportunities that might come your way. The third thing uh, that I've learned that we ought not just settle for just anything. Uh, somebody makes the statement that if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Uh, not too long ago, I was suffering from from two ailments in particular, I was suffering uh, from two ailments in particular. Uh, the first ailment was brokeitis. I was broke, didn't have any money. I was working, not making a lot of money, but I was broke. And from the sound of your laughter, I can hear that I'm not the only one that was uh, that was suffering from brokeitis. I was suffering from brokeitis, didn't have any money. Uh, but not only was I suffering from brokeitis, but I was suffering from bad credititis. Uh, anybody ever had any bad credit? 
I was suffering that that that's a mean combination when you're broke and you have bad credit and I was suffering from both having too many bills uh, taking care of wife and children and had loans and credit cards and not having enough money to pay on time or didn't have enough money to pay at all and I can remember I needed I needed a car and I just didn't want a car I needed a car because I was pastoring then and uh, the car we we had uh, couldn't make that journey that 140 mile each way journey and we needed a car car broke down borrowed other cars I borrowed my sister's car my sister car was just as bad as the one we had uh, we borrowed that car driving over the Bay Bridge uh, the car had this 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 problem of every time you stopped it would turn off and you had to wait a few minutes for the car to turn back on so there we is on the Bay Bridge me Gloria and the children and the car won't stop and there we are out in back of the car past the red and back of the car with his children pushing the car over the Bay Bridge and if that weren't bad enough uh, the people passing us did not offer to help us but they were mad because we were in their way but, uh, but so we needed a car and because didn't have a lot of money and because of the credit was bad we really could not get a car. I remember uh, one time going to the dealership and and you know the first thing they want to do is run your credit. Lord help me today. They want to run your credit and, and after they ran the credit, I declare it looks like when the man came back he was mad because we were even there even trying to get a car. Uh, but we needed a car and because we didn't have money because the credit was not good finally somebody took a chance on us and they 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 sold us a car uh, but the car they sold us wasn't the car I wanted it's a car I had to settle for you know they, they tell you what you can afford and they tell you uh, what your credit will bear and and we had to settle for just any old thing uh, and I come to tell you today it's a terrible thing to settle to pay for with your hard earned money four, five and six years for something you had to settle for it's not what you really wanted but, but you were not in a position to do any better are y'all going to help me today? Uh, can I get a witness here? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Uh, we had to just settle. Uh, but now I can understand years later uh, what the scripture really means when it says uh, we've been made endure for a night but how many know that joy comes in the morning? Uh, and even though we had to struggle for a long time I'm so glad that my God will make a way out of no way and the thing about having bad credit and no money I can remember really thinking back to that time and believing that things would never ever get any better but I come to tell somebody today just hold on a little while longer. I know it might be rough and I know it might be tough right now but you serve a God who is able to turn around any situation that you may be going through. I wish I had 20 witnesses to know that it hasn't been easy for you. It's been hard sometimes in your life and there are times you didn't know how in the world you were 
are going to make it but the reason you praise God today is because one day God made your situation a little bit better I wish you give your neighbor a half and say neighbor things are a little bit better and if they're not better for you right now of the scripture says that they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint how many know you've got to learn how to wait on the Lord oh come on encourage your neighbor come on tap him on the shoulder and say neighbor hang in there hold on because your help is on the way oh God I thank you today because the time came we started making more money can anybody say more money more money more money God will bless you how many know that God will bless you God will bless your finances and God will supply not some of your needs God shall supply all of your needs according to your riches in glory anybody here the bill collector ain't calling you no more anybody here glad that God turned your credit around anybody here glad and know that God has brought you from a mighty long way you don't have to settle no more you don't have to settle for just any old restaurant some of y'all ought to thank God you can go where you want to go you can eat what you want to eat you don't have to go to any old store to buy clothes oh, but some of y'all you used to shop at Walmart you used to shop at the thrift store but hasn't God made a change now you going up in Macy's Neiman Marcus uh, because the God we serve uh, is a good God uh, uh, how many know that God will uh, uh, bless your life uh, started paying the bills on time uh, credit got better uh, and now I'm thanking God uh, that I don't have to just settle uh, for anything uh, so the lesson is uh, that we ought not settle uh, uh, ladies uh, you ought not just settle for uh, any old man uh, oh God I just want to thank you today uh, I know that's not going to get much applause uh, but some of us have lived long enough to know uh, that you better not settle for just any old body uh, you just glad to have somebody uh, because you talking about somebody uh, is better than nobody uh, well the devil is a liar uh, how many know that you can do bad all by yourself uh, uh, God I just want to thank you uh, don't you dare settle for anybody uh, if he ain't saved uh, if he does not love the Lord that you love uh, oh come on now uh, y'all gonna help me uh, if he ain't working anywhere uh, uh, come on you don't need no projects in your life uh, come on, he's a project I'm just working with him uh, uh, yeah you can try that if you like uh, but you want to make up in your mind uh, I ain't going to settle uh, because I ain't got to settle uh, why are you settling uh, as cute as you are uh, why are you settling uh, as pretty as you are uh, letting anybody just come in your life uh, and running over your life uh, the devil is a liar uh, but how many know that God can send you somebody uh, who will love you uh, he'll love the Lord uh, and you can grow together uh, 
Oh, give your neighbor a high five and say, neighbor, I ain't going to settle no more. I don't care what my hair looks like. I ain't going to settle afro braids, tracks. I ain't going to settle no nails, long nails, false nails. I ain't going to settle. I just made up my mind. I'm not going to settle. But brothers, you are not settled either uh, uh, just because she cute uh, uh, don't mean that she's the one for you uh, and you've got to make up in your mind uh, you want somebody going the same way uh, you going uh, when you go to church they say okay I can go to church uh, you want somebody uh, who loves the Lord too uh, oh yes you do uh, you don't want somebody every time you talking about I'm going to church they talking about why are you always going up in that church well I'm going up in that church because when I look back over my life and I see how far God has brought me I can truly say that I've been blessed I've got a testimony and every chance I get I'm going to make my way into God's house. Uh, you don't, no, don't want to settle for any house uh, or any job uh, or any friend. Uh, you don't want to settle for a life that's not going anywhere. Uh, and you don't even want to settle uh, for any old church. Uh, can I get a witness here? Uh, you don't want some church uh, that's dead and dry uh, and on life support but you want a church that's alive with the spirit of the Lord can I get a witness here I don't want to be in a church where I can't feel the spirit of my God because every now and when life hands me lemons, I serve a God who can help me make lemonade. I need God every hour, every minute, every second of every day. I don't want to settle for some church that don't want no praise and worship to go on. The way the folks sit like on a law uh, uh, but I don't know about you uh, but we say it every Sunday uh, I was glad uh, when they said unto me uh, let us go uh, into the house of the Lord uh, come on tap your neighbor uh, and say neighbor uh, I don't know about you uh, but I'm glad to be here uh, for a day in thy court uh, is better than a thousand uh, I'd rather be uh, a doorkeeper uh, in the house of my God uh, than to dwell uh, in the tents of the wicked uh, because of the house of the Lord our God uh, I will seek thy good uh, because how many know uh, that those that be planted uh, in the house of the Lord uh, come on y'all uh, shall flourish uh, in the courts of our God uh, you wonder why I'm flourishing uh, because I'm in God's house uh, and I'm a king's kid uh, come on shake your neighbor's hand uh, uh, say neighbor uh, you're shaking the hand uh, of a king's kid uh, blessed are they uh, that dwell in thy house uh, Lord I have loved thy habitation uh, the place where thy honor dwelleth uh, for the Lord is in his holy temple uh, let all the earth keep silence before him uh, let the words of my mouth uh, and the meditation of my heart uh, be acceptable in thy sight uh, O Lord my strength uh, and my redeemer uh, well here's the part uh, oh sing unto the Lord uh, a new song uh, for he has done uh, my 
the spirit. You're not hearing me today. Anybody here know that God has done some marvelous things. When he woke you up this morning, that was marvelous. When he put food on your table, that was marvelous. When he gave you the activity of your limbs, that was marvelous. If you're clothed in your right mind, with all you've been through, but you're still not crazy, that's marvelous. If he put money in your pocket, that's marvelous. If you have a roof over your head, that's marvelous. The Lord has done marvelous things. Oh, come on, somebody. Open up your mouth and tell God, thank you for this just being marvelous. Come on, somebody. Tell God you love him. Tell God he means everything to you. I know. I know. You've been through a lot. But how many know today that if it had not been for the Lord who was on your side the enemy would have swallowed you up he's done marvelous things in our lives but not only that didn't he make your enemies behave come on some of us had some enemies who was out to get us and they thought they had us but how many know that when you set one trap you better set two because the trap you set for me it'll snap on you come on give somebody a high five and say neighbor what the enemy did they did it for evil but my God turned it around and worked it out for my good oh God I just want to thank you oh somebody lift up those hands and open up your mouth and give God praise in this place when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all He's done for me. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Oh God, I thank you. Oh, come on now. I tap three people around you. I tell them I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. I came to clap my hands. I came to stop my feet. I came to jump for joy. Because my God has been good to me. Come on, somebody. Open up your mouth and tell God thank you. Well, all I'm trying to say to you today is that you ought not settle. I don't settle for anything. I have a good friend of mine, and he always says, if you're going to be a grizzly, if you're going to be a bear, be a grizzly. I don't settle young people for just B's and C's. And Lord knows don't settle for D's. But try. Come on, young people, I'm talking to you. But try for excellence. Strive to be the best that you can be. Strive to put your mark on the world. Can I talk to you for a minute? God created you. Not just to be mediocre huh, or satisfactory huh, but God created you huh, to be excellent huh. somebody shout excellent huh. and you ought not be satisfied huh, until you are everything huh, that God 
Lord has called you to be. Okay, I'll move on. I'll move on. That's why we fuss like we fuss. Because we want more for you than you want for yourself. We want you to live better than we live. We want you to have more opportunity than we had. That's why we fuss so much. But you are not settled. Well, the Bible says that John the Baptist was in prison. And the reason he was in prison is because he told the truth. And because he told the truth, people around him did not want to hear it. You know people always talking about they want the truth until you tell them the truth. Lord, help me today. And John got in trouble because he told Herod, you got your brother's wife and you ought not have your brother's wife. And because you have your brother's wife, you just wrong. He told him the truth. The Bible says because he told him the truth, Herod had this party. You know, he had this good old party. Liquor and dancing. He had a party. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all, y'all some party people here. He had a party. And at this party, the woman he had had a daughter. And the daughter knew how to boogaloo. She knew how to dance. And the Bible says that she danced at the party. And she danced so good that Herod said, a girl, you dance so good. I'll give you anything that you want. Lord knows that must have been some kind of dancing going on there. The Bible says that his woman told her daughter to ask for John the his head on a charger. The Bible says John being on death row heard the works of Jesus. And when he heard the works of Jesus, John sent two of his disciples to the Lord and asked him a question. Art thou he that should come or shall we look for another? The Lord sends back to John's disciples and he says to them, I want you to go back and tell John what you do here and what you see. The Bible says he said to them, tell them the blind men are seeing again. Tell them Bartimaeus was a blind man sitting by the wayside. But when he heard I was coming, he began to yell with a loud voice. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And even though people around him tried to shut him up, he would not shut up because he knew his breakthrough was close. And when you come to church, and when you know that your breakthrough is close, don't you let your neighbor shut you up. But you are to make up in your mind, I've got to yell. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get my God's attention. And the way to get God's attention is through praise. Shake somebody's hand and tell them it's through praise. The Bible says the blind are seeing because I gave Bartimaeus his sight back. I tell John the lame are walking. The man at the pool of Bethesda who had been there 38 years. He ain't laying there no more. But he's walking again. Go tell John that leper 
waters are being cleansed uh, uh, that the ten lepers came to me uh, and I cleansed every last one of them uh, and of the ten only one came back again uh, to say thank you uh, because when the Lord has shown up been good to you uh, you can't help yourself uh, you got to tell the Lord thank you uh, and I'm not going to be like the nine uh, that did not come back to tell God thank you but when you know that you know that you know that you know that God's been good to you you've got to open up your mouth and you've got to tell the Lord thank you are there any grateful folk in the house today that the Lord has done great things for you come on open up your mouth and tell him thank you ha. Uh, tell John ha, that the dead are raised again ha. and the thing that I love about God ha, God can raise up ha, a dead thing ha. I'm so glad ha, that when it looks dead to people ha, it ain't dead to God ha, because God's got the power ha, to raise up dead things ha. come on shake your name with him ha, like you're going to shake it off ha, and say neighbor ha, I was in a dead situation ha, but how you like me now ha, because my God ha, has brought me back to life ha, I'm so glad ha, that I know Jesus ha, ha, go tell John ha, that I'm the right one ha, and today I came to tell somebody ha, I'm not going to settle ha, for just any old God ha, I'm not going to settle ha, for the honorable ha, Elijah Muhammad ha, because he's not my God ha, he died one day ha, and last time I checked ha, he's still dead ha, I'm not going to settle ha, for the Krishna's God ha, because that God will die ha, and when they're dead ha, they're not coming back again ha, I'm not going to settle ha, for the Jehovah Witness God ha, who talk about ha, only 144,000 are going to be saved ha, and go to heaven ha, because my Bible says ha, that John looked out ha, and John saw a number ha, that no man could number ha, coming up from the east ha, coming up from the west ha, coming up from the north ha, coming up from the south ha, and somebody asked him ha, how many are there ha, John said it's a number ha, no man could number ha, whose robes have been washed ha, in the blood of the Lamb ha, who come through ha, great tribulation ha, give your neighbor ha, a high five ha, and say neighbor ha, I'm going up there ha, aren't you gonna go with me ha, I'm so glad ha, that I don't have to settle ha, but I call the name ha, of the one ha, who was born of a virgin ha, I call on the name ha, of the one ha, who walked this earth ha, worked all kinds of miracles ha, I call on the name ha, of the one ha, who was crucified ha, dead and buried ha, but on the third day ha, he rose ha, from the grave ha, with all power ha, in his hand ha, and I know ha, he's God ha, all by himself ha, that at the name of Jesus ha, every knee shall bow ha, every tongue shall confess ha, that Jesus Christ ha, is Lord ha, all by himself ha, and because he's my God ha, because he's my Lord ha, I don't have to settle ha, I know my God ha, what's what's best for me ha, I know my God ha, gonna give me ha, what's best for me ha, aren't you glad ha, aren't you glad ha, 
Give your neighbor a high five and say, neighbor, you don't have to settle because the right one makes all the difference in the world. If you know God is good, open your mouth and tell him thank you. If you know God is good, put those hands in the air and wave them and tell God thank you. Shout hallelujah. The God we serve is a good God. He's a great God. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. He's my doctor in a sick room. He's my lawyer in a courtroom. He's my debit card. He's my everything. He's my all in all. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Come on, hug three people. Tell them, don't settle. Don't settle. Don't settle. Don't you dare settle. Don't you dare settle. Come on, hug three more people. Tell them, don't you dare settle. If it ain't for me, I don't want it. I'm not going to settle. I'm tired of just getting by. I'm not going to settle. I'm not going to settle. I want everything God has for me. I'm not going to settle. That's the altar call today. If you know God has better in store for you, if you believe by faith God has more in store for you, I want you to come to this altar right now. Come, come, come. He has more for you. He has more. He has more in store for your life. And you don't have to settle. You don't have to settle for anything. Come on, come on, come on. You believe God has more in store for your life. Never does anything else for me. He's done enough. Good 
to me And the Lord Has made so many ways for me Over and over and over again Oh, he blessed me once Then he blessed me twice Ooh, the Lord keeps on blessing me Every day of my life Hey, give the Lord Never does anything else for things that is so easy to do is to just settle for anything it's one thing when you can't do any better it's another thing when you can do better but you settle for what you got And what I know about God, what I know about God is that God never wants to give us the only thing he wants to give us is his best. Jesus was God's best. Jesus was God's best. When it came to our salvation, our deliverance, he didn't send angels. He could have, he could have, but he didn't send angels. He, he didn't send patriarchs. He didn't send Abraham, Isaac, or Jacob. He didn't send the prophets, Samuel. He didn't send the judges when it came to our salvation. He loved us so much that Jesus only wanted what was best for us. And if he wants what's best for us, you ought to want what's best for you. And sometimes it means you have to walk away from people. Places things that you know not doing you a bit of good just causing heartache and pain and it takes courage to walk away from something you settled for because it gets hard to walk away from because now you in love with the thing you settled for but I'm telling you God never takes anything without giving you something better I'm going to say that again I don't think that I used to look at uh, Lost in Space and every so often they would say something to the robot and the robot said this does not compute God never takes anything from you without giving you something better never never you can count on that you can count on it you can count on it if God took it it was what was best for you. And some of us have lived long enough to know we've walked away from some things that we thought we couldn't walk away from only to find out that God gave us something better. He's that kind of God. You've got to know today that God is in love with you.
he's not in light with you he's in love with you and he loves you so much that he only wants the best for you that's all God wants now you have to line up with God and you have to say Lord I want what you want and Lord I don't want what you don't want me to have because I don't want you to, I don't want you to settle any longer there's no time for settling life is too short to settle and time is getting away time is getting away from you because you're settling for for second and third best when God wants you to have the very best I want you to take the hand of the hand take the hand of the person you're standing next to He is. Oh, you know, God is. God is. God is. Yeah. He's my joy. Oh, yes. God is. God is. joy God is the joy and the strength, and the of, my strength of my life he moves on pain he moves on misery pain. and strife misery and he strife. promised to keep me he promised to keep never me. to leave me never to leave he'll never me. come short never ever come short of his word I've got I've to got fast to and pray fast and pray stay, stay in the in narrow the way narrow keep my I've life clean keep my life every clean. day I want to go with him. I want to go with when he comes him back. When he comes I've back. I've come too far. I've come too far. And I'll never and turn I'll back. Never turn come on, back. God is. God is. God is. God is. God is. the joy and the strength of my life God is the joy and the strength he of my life he moves on pain he moves misery on pain misery and strife misery he and promised strife. he promised, promised to keep never me, never to leave he'll never me. come short He's never ever come short of his I've word got to fast I've got and to pray. fast and pray stay, stay in, in the in narrow the way, narrow way. I've I've I'll keep my life keep clean clean every I want, I want to go with him. I want to go with him. When he comes back. When he comes back. I've come too far. I've come too far. And I'll never turn God back. is. God is. God is. God is my all in all. God is my all in all. God is my all in all. Come, come on, come on. Come on, lift those hands in the air and just worship the Lord. Lift those hands and just worship, just worship. Just give God, just give God 
worship just 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 tell him how good he is and thank him for his goodness and his mercy thank him for his grace thank him for making a way out of no way in your life come on come on just worship just worship oh that men would worship the lord hallelujah hallelujah is the highest praise hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah god we just want to thank you we just want to thank you we just want to thank you today you've been so good to us you've been so good and we don't know where we would be if it had not been for you so God from the fruit of our lips we're just going to give you the fruit of our lips we just want to tell you thank you And, and, and we're thanking you ahead of time because even though we know we don't have everything you're going to give us we know it's on the way so we're going to thank you ahead of time thank you God thank you God thank you God you're so worthy you're so worthy you're so worthy to be praised yes you are yes you are yes you are father in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i speak blessings on your people i speak blessings on your people today in the name of jesus i speak blessings on your people today in the name of jesus i speak blessings on your people today in the name of jesus god in the name of jesus we speak blessings today blessings blessings today in the name of jesus our hands are lifted our hands are open because we're ready to receive from you now lord rain on us rain on us today rain down your blessings on us today and god we just want to say thank you because we know that the best is still yet to come god we thank you that the devil should have killed us a long time ago he tried to kill us a long time ago but we got away we got away so god we just want to tell you thank you thank you god that everything's going to be all right i've got a feeling that everything's going to be all right so father in the name of jesus we know that we don't have to fight the battle we know that the battle is already yours so we give it to you today knowing that victory is already ours in the name of jesus now god now god as we leave this altar we're leaving with victory in our hearts and praise on our lips and peace in our minds and joy deep down on the inside of us as we leave this altar we rebuke the devil his plan did not work because we're still here but now god send send the rain and we just want to thank you in jesus name now if you know god's going to bless you if you know that you know god's going to bless you come on come on say it with me god send the rain Come on, you can do better than that. Say, God, send the rain. Come on, one more time. Say, God, send the rain. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Come on, hug your neighbor.
tell them the best is coming for you. The best is coming for you. Thank you.